Hey guys, I'm Jenny's on occasion, and today, more Oleg the Ever Chosen campaign. Here he is. Here he is. Yep. It's Oleg. It's Oleg. No one else. Just Oleg. Now, Varnus is Soul Thief. He's he's been through uh he's been through the wars he has, which he loves, you know, that's his thing. Um, he loves corn. But there's a lot of dwarves coming. A lot of them are trash, but this army's a little bit more impressive. And uh, this one was pretty much just acting as bait, which is very sneaky. Um, but we need some replenishment before we attack anything, because we are really running out of steam here. Luckily, we do now have some chosen of corn with dual weapons. That's going to be really fun to see how they just mow people down. Although, saying that, I mean, they got 54 to the 49. Oh, I guess that's without any rank, so it's hard to compare like for like, but... Oh, and he has the Razor Standard, which gives plus 8 attack. I was thinking that being like 60 to 69. That's not a huge jump. But actually, it's 52 to 69, which is a huge jump in the amount of damage done. And presumably, let's see, Armor Piercing 18, Armor Piercing 13. So it's a big jump in Armor Piercing too. Oh, and Bonus versus Infantry is 5 on them. That's not actually a very big bonus. It's 10 for them. Okay, that is bonkers. Okay, that's pretty huge. So, uh, bonus versus infantry, bonus versus large, any of those bonuses, they apply to weapon strength and melee attack against that target, by the way. So, basically, if you have anti-infantry, you're going to be hitting infantry more, as well as doing bonus damage to it. So, while you might think, oh, really, just an extra 10 damage to infantry? No, 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 no. No, it's an extra 10 damage per hit, and you're getting more hits in. You know, an extra 10, that's like a 10% extra swing to hit them, which is very good. Very powerful. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty great. We also have, um, backing up corn, is Siege, which is very strange. Very strange indeed, but let's not question it, okay? You know, glory for all the Chaos Gods, right? Uh, also, Garrus Dawi Breaker isn't fighting the Dawi, which, I mean, it's fighting elves. It's all very strange. I I didn't name him. <laughs> All right. But he's here. Chilling. Don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, we're doing well. Except it's very annoying, the Blessed Dread. Just keep sneaking units back behind me, and none of our allies are actually doing what they're told. Uh, to the point where this guy, right, village here, doesn't even exist. He doesn't even exist. Can't even click on him. He's, he's just, he's got all spooky. And also, look at that, like, worm body of his. He's so gross. But gross worm boy. Horrible. Ugh, worm boy. Outpost available in Stravengard. Or Pack Ice Bay. Ooh. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. This is for the Slayers of Souls, which I think I might be declaring more on later. Because they're in my way, so let's just ignore them completely. Oh! <gasps> Iron Pelt Den. I could have upgraded you. Why did no one tell me? Alright, that can't be... that will never be able to be... Okay, I think that's it, though. Alright, let's just move on. Scalbrand. No, just never. Never in a million years. Uh, he's less inclined to become my vassal right now. Is it because he's starting to actually do okay? That's really annoying if that's the case. Although he doesn't like that I have treaties with the scaling of Van Heimlings. He really hates that, actually. Which is weird, because... He's not at war with any of them or anything, so, yeah, I don't know. Bit odd. Uh, things are improving, though, generally. But I'm definitely going to threaten him. Because I think that's the funniest way to vassalize him. Literally just threaten the Bloodthirster, you know? Uh, oh, Village the Cursling managed to grab them next to one of our settlements. So we actually can bring back up here. Uh, I can't be bothered to, so I'm just gonna say you do you, and that's fine. I'm I'm glad my garrison could help. I think that earned us some money as well, you know. And they're attacking with all of their nonsense. Uh, I am going to retreat. So we did uh, ambush, sit in ambush stance, but they spotted us. But I was far enough away that they weren't gonna be able to both jump on me. So I knew with retreating, we'd be out of their range. I just hoped we wouldn't have to retreat. I was hoping we'd get the ambush and we'd kill a bunch of dwarves. And then wear their beards. Then pretend to be dwarves. And sneak into a dwarf hold. And then take even more beards. To have a good old time. OK. 
Okay, good. Good, good, good. Things happening. <gasps> lost? Buddy. Come on, how does Oleg get lost? Come on. That's absurd. He can reach there anyway, so it actually makes no difference whatsoever, so that's fine. Our troops are lost. Whether this is due to some nefarious scheme, grey magic enchantment, or simple incompetence is irrelevant. They must retrace their steps and lose time. So yeah, lose a bunch of campaign movement range and leadership. Doesn't matter. We're about to vassalize these jerks, because uh, that's all they got left. So, boop. And uh, yeah, loads of loads of favor for that. All right, Loki, you are my boy. Critters submit. And you did. <laughs> That's exactly what you did. Uh, so it would be lovely to fight the Gauntlet and Albion as well. It really would, but I think we need to send another army over there, maybe. Perhaps. Uh, yep, let's upgrade that. Sounds great. Now let's let's cycle through our settlements or upgrades while well, growth is high. Not high enough, apparently. Not high enough. All right, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we have got a couple of armies here. Uh, do we want uh, extra fifty percent missile strength? Is very powerful. I like that. Uh, and you've had another turn of replenishment. This is either very... Well, I say very quick. We have Chaos Warriors. We've got a lot of quick units. And we've got a lot of very long-range units. So I think that's probably... Yeah, I'd say this is probably the better reinforcing army. Especially if we can get them to reinforce from the side. Then we can attack uh, Grimly... <laughs> Grimly. Nor Grimling here. This is going to be a joke, frankly. Fight! But I imagine they're going to want to fight. There's this guy coming up as well. If it's three armies, then that could have been a bit tricky, but I think. This way around. Wow, Pyrrhic victory and high casualties? Is that what you think? Really? Well, that's a bit silly. I think this is going to be a doddle. Like, seriously, these, these miners. I reckon that one chosen that we have could probably cut through all of these guys eventually. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I don't want to control them all, is the thing. Like, I hate controlling two stacks. Like, it just it just becomes grabbing, like, fistfuls of units and just throwing them at the nearest thing. Um, it's just, yeah, it's too much to move around. To sort of um, get anything out of them. It's just, yeah, it just turns... Basically, I don't care about actions per minute. Actions per minute I find boring. I'm old. Right? I don't I don't want to be dealing with actions per minute. I want to just make actions that matter. I want to focus on the strategy, not actions per minute. And the more units you have, the more actions per minute it is. I think that's probably the best way to describe why I find it like annoying and tedious and just like just so much busy work. When I want to focus on like, you know, the minutiae of things, which you don't have time for. So, you know, it's annoying. But I don't want these guys to be running off on their own, because they're just gonna get wrecked. So here we are. Having to deal with the pile. You know, just fistfuls of enemies that we throw at the enemy. Well, fistfuls of allies that we throw at the enemy. Let's do it. Okay, so they're right at the back, by the giant chaos portal. I'm not sure I'd want to deploy near any of this if I was the dwarves. You know, I'd very much want to just get the hell out of here. Because you, you never know. You never know what something like this might do. You know, like a, some horrible demon may fly out of there and cause all kinds of problems. It won't, you know, mechanically. Mechanically speaking. But, you know, thematically. So a lot of scary stuff in there. Now, maybe I don't send you with them. I am tempted to send these two with this lot, though. So we've got all of our uh, juggernauts together. And maybe you fly with the main group. Hey, they seem keen. Alright, so let's do that. Let's get you into the middle. Mostly the middle. And I think we need to go wide. Though with this terrain here... I mean, that's right on the edge of the map. It's kind of awkward terrain, isn't it? But it is going to be quite good for us here. 
Oh, it's not the edge of the map. That's the edge of the map. A lot of this stuff will probably be funneling down here, and our hell cannons will spawn and can just shoot right into it. That's going to be pretty awesome, actually. That's going to be pretty cool. Alright, chariots can go with you. Alright, let's lock that group. And let's lock this group. Alright, you start moving immediately. Because... My god, it's going to cause problems. God, look at this. Look at this army. It's all so silly. Trying to crunch through them, though, is going to be uh, difficult. Okay, a lot of stuff is trying to push down here already. I think we do want to push in from this side with those units, and then these guys can push in up here. And that's how we're going to have to play it. Uh, also, uh, we don't really have any ranged anything. Okay, they're getting really split up and confused here. Trying to run, like, around this... This lava pit. So, that's kind of good. Kind of good for us. You know, I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, let's hit that lot. Nice. Um, I don't know, I guess just shoot whoever, right? Guys, guys, calm down. They're getting so excited. They're getting so excited. Alright, let's hit them. I know, it's expensive, it's a bit silly. Alright, in you get, folks. Uh, fight or die. So we can cut through him a little faster. Oh, he's got 16 kills already. We are going to have to back off a bit, though. And... Let's see if that doesn't get a good hit on him. Okay, good. And yeah, we're cutting through him. Well, enough... Alright, you guys just get stuck in, I suppose. And, um... I mean, this is all a big old mess. No, all of you, silly. Okay, let's... get some more damage in there. Start aiming for, like, useful things. Like those iron breakers, maybe? Amazing. Oh, amazing this stuff is still even alive, it's crazy. And Uzu is in here. Having a good time. Having a grand old time. Old Uzu. We should get him out of there, though. Alright, Slayers over there. Bring you guys over here, too. Have ourselves a, a Teach Caster. Because, you know, of course we do. Uh, we can probably do some pretty handsome damage to this lot. Purple Sun might be good too, but my god, the damage we'd be taking. And, oh, you just got hit by something, did you? Wow, these cannons are going. Huh. Well done. Alright, that's bonkers. Uh, nice of immolation. I'm going to pull out of that fight, I suppose. Oh, you can go for him. Alright, Spirit Legion, I suppose. Alright, let's charge into the rear of these guys. Now, where? Oh my god, dude. Like, I told you to get out of that fight ages ago. Okay, that's incredibly frustrating if he dies. Uh, let's go for them, too. Oh, and I suppose you can, um... Oh, no, you can. Let's try that again. Good. Alright, what else we got going on? No idea. What a mess this is. Uh, Spirit Leech. What on earth did the camera just do? I have no idea. The camera just went weird. 
And, okay, thank God he's still alive. Look at Uzu, man. Guys, what the hell? I told you to go for the cannons. Probably lose them as well now. Loonies. All right, what else we got anyway? Oh, plague. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> plague time. Plague time, boys. All right, what we got next? Block of doom. That's always a laugh. All right, it's all birds and plague with these guys. All right, you lot. What have you been shooting at? And is there any more? Ooh, hammerers. We to get rid of them too. All right, how are you lot doing? Really? You doing all right? They're doing okay. Can you guys keep moving? Are there more slayers in there? No. What do you mean? There's so many units. I can't give anything the time. Uh, cascading fire cloak on a random person so we can reroll. Man, severed claw. Inspiring champions. They last so long. I almost feel like we've lost some, like. Maybe lost some chaos warriors, it seems, but maybe not? Alright, well, everyone's running anyway. Okay, keep chasing them down. There's still some slayers, mind you. Still a handful of slayers. But, uh, yeah, that was a masking. That was a masking. Some miners with blasting charges over here. Let's see if we can't kill them. Alright, how are we looking? How are we looking? Oh, let's kill him too. Okay, that'll do. Oh, yeah, we want to kill those iron drakes. Definitely want to go get those iron drakes. Uh, what can I do to him? Yeah, and the spear, one of them, maybe. Wow, that's quite bright, isn't it? Flip an egg. You alright there, mate? Someone set my bird on fire. <laughs> Flip an egg. Alright. That'll do. But we did well. We killed a lot of things. Uh, we took a lot of damage in places, but, you know, killed a lot of things. God, these mountains. They just keep going, huh? They just keep going, like, straight up. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so we didn't lose anything. Yeah, look at that. Hundreds of kills on the Hell Cannons. And to think, that was mostly, like, Iron Breakers and Hammerers, you know? It's pretty good. Pretty good going. Um, sacrifice their captives? Oh, you got to, right? Got to! Got to. Blood for the blood god. So these guys had a very bad day. I think I might still take a step back to replenish. There may be... Actually, we do still have a fair bit of movement. I think I can push forward to wipe these guys out completely. Uh, not with you, though. Not with you. Do I want to try and get this guy with this army? It's a tough call. None of these guys... Oh my god, they are all on six. Oh, that's on five. They're on six, though. Oh my word. Okay, I'm going to attack them. Oh, that could be seven left. That's really quite pathetic. Path to glory unlocked, though. Ascended demonhood, bracket corn. Really? Wow. Yeah, they're level 20 now. I mean, that's tempting, isn't it? That's very tempting. Do we get to keep our path for glory? I don't, I don't remember if that's the case or not. I kind of don't want to... I don't know. It's a tough one. An Echold Troll Tooth. Oh god, who's Echold? Where are you? It has corrupt. <laughs> Let's get rid of this, okay? Destruction. You're not going to have that. You're going to actually Chaos Steed, alright? Thank you. So we've got Chaos Water Shrine for him. Now let's see. Let's get you a uh, Malefic Sorcerer. Why not? Good. And the Blue Scribes. Uh, missile Resistance is very handy. Well, that's all you're getting. Only leveled up once. Lazy. Lazy is what it is. Uh, Varitas Soul Thief. I mean, Aura of Chaos is useful. Yeah, I'm going to go Aura of Chaos. 
Yeah, so tempted to give him demonhood. And he has done well. But I think we wait until his yes, army is all chosen army. first. Okay, I think that's the plan. Alright, Infernal Champion for you. That's what you do more damage. And uh, Infernal Champion for you. And Uzru, who's basically dead. Um, I'm actually quite tempted to get scouting. Just a bunch, because we're not getting any good items lately. You know what I mean? Let the slaughter commence. Okay, if I kill them, Exalted, of course. I doubt they have insane replenishment. Is that part of the part of the invasion thingy? It gives them mad replenishment. Could be. Yeah, I think I need to kill these guys before they replenish. But I'm going to attack. Okay, if I attack him, I have zero movement left. So, yeah, I'll go for the biggest one and get me the most. Oh, bloody Uzul. Well, this is going to be the most experience fighting these guys, so hopefully I'll be able to get all of these to Chosen, and then it won't matter what we're fighting. Okay, so. We have lots of things. Uh, all right, they got cannons over there, troll hammer torpedoes, they've got a cannon over there. All right, Uzul just has to hang out over here, please. Behind this rock. Thank you. Man, this is a cool map. I like this map. It's fun. It's like a choke point map, but like, you know, barren. You know, it doesn't feel like you're just fighting over a river or something. Like you normally do. Um, I think we leave a lot of killing to these guys, you know. I think that's how I'm going to play this. Alright, kind of leave it to our... Well, yeah, Exalted. Ah, oh, Nurgle? I think Nurgle's here. That's annoying. Nurgle. Alright, you go for them. And you go for them. And, uh... I'm not sure what we do with everyone else. We obviously have this guy who can fly, so getting into here might be nice. You know, just bothering the cannons or something. Because these guys are going to take a bunch of hits from that cannon too. Although it's nice of them to go for this and not the Chosen. Wherever the hell they are. Where are the Chosen? Chosen? Yeah, they're over here. So they should be able to shoot me. I'm not sure why they're not. Not sure why they're not. Yeah, go straight for the cannons. Might as well. And you can run in there too. These guys will be lagging behind, but that's alright. Or will they? Or will they? Yep, that's right. <laughs> All our big lads are going to go handle it, apparently. I've decided I don't have the patience. You haven't landed yet, have you, mate? Oh no, we're good, we're good. Arr. Yeah, he's coming for me. Oh, he's coming. Destroyed one of the cannons. Alright, you go for him. You go for that lord. And you can all smash those long beards. Alright, they could do big damage. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Took out one of the chariots. Hell of a charge, though, isn't it? Hell of a charge. And look at these guys holding the front line of it. We just sort of ignore him. Brutal. Alright, uh, the Lord's dead. Alright, go kill them then. I suppose. Don't like their odds. Do not like their odds. Alright, you get stuck in over here. You guys having a good time. Keep pushing you up. You guys are having fun. Okay. <laughs> you keep chasing that cannon. Yeah, that cannon's actually done well to, like, back up and get some shots into us. Are you going to fire? Oh, no, no. No. 
No. Cowards. They'd stayed and shot. Could have got a cannonball right into our our lord. But nope, nope, they tried to tried to get out of it. Cowards. Alright, you're all doing great. I think that is army losses and the second battle they've had today, so uh, they're wiped out. Now we just have to hope these guys got enough experience. I really hope they did. Decisive victory. Okay, this works. And, uh, ooh, could go with extra unit experience just in case. Because I'm not, I'm not seeing them ranked up yet. It's only an extra hundred, though. It's pathetic. Pathetically tiny amount. I'm going to try it. We'll see. Lord of Korn. And still nothing. Still nothing on rank six. Oh, that's disappointing. Very disappointing. And I won't quite be able to get back to my own territory. Oh, no way. Okay, what we're going to have to do... You can't quite reach. Um... Crap, I'm not sure what to do here. Turn him into a demon. Uh, no. Soon. Alright, Infernal Champion. Jaeger? Let's get you... You know, I have no idea, actually. Devastating Charge, I suppose. Uh, Alright, how much experience do these guys have, anyway? Need another 1,200. Ugh. Let the Rubbish. Commence. Okay, I think what we're going to do... Is set up an ambush. Oh, how close can I get to the edge? I mean, fairly close, actually. So I can still get replenishment for him. Barely any, but like, it's something, right? Oh, he's only rank 4? Can I just get more Chaos Warriors? I can't, but I can get more Forsaken. No, I'm going to keep him on side for now. Yeah, I think we just have to make do with what we have here. Alright, they'll probably try and attack Varitus with this guy. Hopefully they won't see him coming and then the two armies can just completely smash him uh, to bits. It's just annoying that Uzul is so injured. The annoying thing is I could have him leave the army um, so he can get replenishment. I'd need to make room in this army so it could be in that one. I don't think they replenish when they're just outside, like out and about. So I think I might have to get rid of this Marauder unit. But we can always get more Chaos Warriors somewhere, right? Okay, you can't leave the army for some reason. Why is that? Oh, does he not have a movement either? That's unusual. Usually the heroes have way more movement. I guess it's because we went into March Stars. We exhausted his movement completely. Well, that's annoying. I was really hoping to get him out of there. But I can get another Hellcat. Which would be pretty funny. Or I can get a Shaggoth in this army as well. I don't know how useful that'll be against the dwarfs. Hellcat, though. Very useful. Glory and slaughter. Yeah, I think we're going to get Hellcat. I'm actually going to swap some units, though. I think a couple of these... I think maybe all of these trolls can actually just join Echol Trolltooth. And I'll give... Um, yeah, maybe two Hell Cannons to Veritas Soul Thief. Yeah, I think the Hell Cannons are quite a good fit for um, we are for Corn anyway. So I think they'll do. But I, I do want everyone to have some artillery because Hell Cannons are great. Now you guys all have level ups. Of course you do. Of course you do. Uh, thick skinned, I suppose. Okay, off. And for Moxia Sky On Slayer, haven't really. I feel like we haven't used Moxia in weeks because we just haven't used. Oleg's army in ages, have we? Because we haven't needed to. He just sort of waltzes in, completely overpowers the enemy, and waltzes away. There's not really much to it. Alright, let's get him over here to Skjord. And Garlus Darwinbreaker. Well, he gets a level up at least. That's something. What do we want? Monstrous strength? That will help. That will help the Shaggoth out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. In fact, I want to get another Shaggoth. I mean, a couple of them. Sounds pretty cool. Is this the window? No. Gifted units. Uh, we need to make room for him, though. 
maybe get rid of the Chaos Warhounds. They're quite good for chasing down the sorts of foes we're up against. Chaos Spawn basically have no missile resist, but they are unbreakable. You know, they are unbreakable. I don't know how well that's going to help. You know, I'll get rid of them. We'll get a shagger. Marvellous. Now let's have a quick look around for main upgrades or income upgrades. Okay, I'm not seeing any. But, we can put up growth, I suppose. Uh, we still have six grand. Can we afford anything else? Yeah, more growth, I suppose. Alright, that'll do. And we're still getting bonus growth for a while. So that's good. Okay. Right. We're earning almost 10k per turn. Which is nice to see. There seems to be some... Uh, the drowned, some vampire coast running around our territory, which is interesting. Are you guys? No, you're not at war. And the, it looks like Boris has managed to survive. Though maybe not for very long. It looks like Hammer Thane Frost is, is sort of on the case. So we'll see. Alright, well, dwarves, we're still getting through them. That's what, we've destroyed three armies? If we count to this one, which is basically destroyed. Wait, is it three? Four, I think, now, actually. I think it might be four armies we destroyed. We destroyed... Grombrindles, another one, and then the two together, right? I think so. And the Darby Breakers had nothing to do with it. Do I give him Demonhood? I'm so tempted, you know. I think it'd be really cool to have a a, a, a demon here. I, I think it'll restart all his traits, though. Let's do it and see. Oh, there he is. Demon Looking very prince. cheeky. Look at this cheeky boy. Okay, he does keep all of his traits and everything. That is good. That is good. I was worried. Um, so let's give him Dominating Presence, Chaos Vanguard, Root Marcher, Hearts of Iron is really useful. Brass Collar gives spell resistance, which is quite nice. Um, monstrous Strength helps... Well, our monsters, obviously. But are we keeping the trolls? You know, do we need to worry about that? Hammer and Anvil. Put all our cavalry in chariots. That's what we want to do. And then rally. Sadly, we can't afford fight or die. Uh, or demonic onslaught. Which is just baller. Um, Alright, I guess that's it. We have to keep leveling him. It's a shame he loses so many levels. But, you know, I get it. Oh, he doesn't have a talisman, so I can give him an extra 5% ward save, which is a bit pathetic, but it's not nothing. It's not nothing. Oh, also, the feather foe talk affects all flying units. Oh, come on, just show me. Yeah, that low speed. I think the Feather Boat Talk is a nice one to to have for him. Because he can fly, so any other flying things, any like enemy lords or heroes that he he fights in the air will suffer from this. And that makes it incredibly potent. That's really nice. I mean minus ten melee defense in any jewel he has is, is good. So that'll have to do. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Right. Now we have uh, is this the... Yeah, that's, ca that's Carnage Incarnate. We already have a couple of Shaggards. I don't think we need more. So... Uh... Having Oleg grant experience to other lords is kind of nice. Or Portaglyph. Everyone getting Chaos Furies would be really good. So let's do that. Let's do that. Be able to summon some flyers to muck up the back line. That's really nice. So we'll go with Portaglyph. All right, you sit tight there. Uh, it looks like they are actually spreading a bit though, which is disappointing. Uh, Van Heimlings. Ah, there, there's Loaf. Okay. Let's have you go for a uh, Crooktail Peak. I don't know if you'll actually manage to or not. We'll see. I have a feeling some of these guys are going to come for us eventually, right? They must do. I don't know. I think I think Oleg may need to come up here and deal with these guys. Greetings. Your 
is what pleases me. All right, Kairos, he's still pushing into these guys. I don't know if these dwarfs... I think, I think they got a bunch of extra units, didn't they? I probably wouldn't have line of sight otherwise, so hopefully they can start dealing with Kairos a bit, because I'd rather Kairos not just take over literally everything. Um, you know? It's a bit of a pain. Although I guess he has much, like, less territory than I do. It's not like each of these settlements are the same as our settlements, right? You know? Because ours are just much beefier. And then we have all of our vassals, so I don't know. Join the war against Kemri. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't. Let's just do that. That's what that screen was for, you know. I just I just started speculating about everything else going on. As I am one to do. As is my right, as ever chosen. Okay, ambush are discovered. Yeah, that's the no one's bothering our allies. That's fine. The wild hunt begins. Oh god. We already had the wild hunt as an endgame thing, now we do the wild hunt generally. So does that mean there's like a pile of enemies and now they can be even more aggressive? I don't know. Orion, King of the Woods and Master of the Wild Hunt is reborn anew. On the uh, on the eve of the Vernal Equinox, the elite wild riders select a candidate to bear the mantle of the immortal Elven King for the year ahead. And for all eternity. And um, this like devours um, princes, basically. It it all the noble you know, the nobles of Athaloran. Uh you know, the the um you know, what, the, what the hell are they called? I was like Glade Guard, but like that's just the archers. You know, the main ones. Which I don't know if we have a single example here, because this is nothing but spell weavers. It's nothing but spell weavers. Anyway, the, the normal guys, right? The normal the, the normal lords. The basic normal lords. Um they basically get sacrificed. Um they go into a tree. Ariel does something um dark and terrible to them, and then they come out as Orion. Um as the, you know, the avatar of Kernos, essentially. So now that Queen Ariel has done her secret work, Orion storms back into the world once more. As ever, he immediately calls a wild hunt to clear the forest of undesirable outsiders. The herald of the hunt sounds the horn, signalling the elves and forest spirits to fight in Athalorin's defence. A primal urge to expel the forest enemies that none can ignore. And, uh, yeah, so Orion actually has memories of all the previous ones, and, um, they've got a sort of, um, uh, uh, Stormcast Eternal thing to them. Uh, where well, there's a bit of a story of like how he's becoming more and more deranged as more and more memories are just like warping his mind. He's basically got like magical dementia. Like he's he's going a bit wrong um, as these sort of these, uh, you know, thousands of voices now in his head um, are sort of making things a little difficult for him. So he's becoming sort of more and more primal and weird and deranged, which, uh, you know, he was already a bit mad, because his whole thing is to go out hunting, which um, usually involves just slaughtering Bretonians. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, yeah, he's it's, it's all a bit, it's a bit of a mess. Karak Norn have been destroyed, and the Knights of Rigo. We've got some technology, we can start getting our Slanesh upgrades now, which is good, because actually these guys have some pretty good upgrades. Um, yeah, the Hell Scourges have very good melee attack. Not melee attack, good melee defense. Although it seems the Marauders of Sinesh have... Oh, I was looking at melee attack for some reason. Yeah, they have pretty good melee defense, these guys. Which I quite like. And they cause poison, which might be useful for us. I am tempted. I am tempted to get a bunch of health scourges. Which I think I will. I think I will. And they keep their experience, which is nice. Uh, although I think it resets the, you know, the amount that they have, I think. Yeah, it, it sets them back to the bottom of the bar. But they basically keep it. And I get some Sun Ash Horsemen as well. Not sure why I would, but I'm gonna. And I can't get better trolls yet. I mean, I can't get, like, Sun... Oh, actually, I can get Forsaken of Sun Ash. Of course I can. Alright, that's good news. Can't get Aspiring Champions of Sun Ash, though. Which I feel like you should be able to get, like, you know, different flavours of Aspiring Champion. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. We now have a nice theme. Uh, and can this guy... He can 
devote himself to Slanesh. Uh, as can he, immediately. Shall I do that now? Let's do that now. Lord of uh, so yeah, we have to get these again, though, sadly. That's a shame. But maybe get Demon Hood as well. Alright, let's get Chaos Vanguard maxed out. That's all we can do, really. But he looks very fancy, you know? Very fancy lad. Prince I think that's a lot Bane. better. And you know what? I'm going to change his name because Darby Breaker makes no sense. Um. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go with uh, Elgi. Muncher. <laughs> Perfect. Read into that what you will. All right, he's he's an Elgi muncher. That guy. Uh. Let's get some siege gifts as well. Shall we? Because I feel like our siege army's done a lot more than any other so far. So yeah, we'll get some siege gifts. So uh, hopefully this guy can benefit from some stuff. Okay, so the enemy ran off as well. They ran off. So that's good news. Can, can, you, can you move, please? Yeah, move into darkness. Do I give him... Three hell counts. Mortality is such weakness. I think two each is nice. Let's do two each. Uh, what else has this guy got? Maybe I'll swap a chaos spawn. I'll just get rid of the chaos spawn. Despoilers come. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Has your time now, come. what else can I get? More trolls. <laughs> Kind of nothing, honestly. I think we wait for more Chaos Warriors. I should have just kept the Chaos Spawn, really. Um, although... Ooh, okay, that works, actually. Let's get our Bloodthirster, finally. I like that. Let's get our, let's get our Bloodthirster. Also, shall I get rid of the Siege Caster? I mean, it makes no sense to have a spellcaster here. Like, gameplay-wise, it makes all the sense. You're so, like, the value you get out of every single spellcaster is so much higher than every other unit in the game. But we're playing as corn, you know? I want to lean into the roleplay. So I think I might have Uzul hang out with uh, Eckhold and the Blue Scribes. But, like, it just means you have three spellcasters in one army, which, you know, is very, very on-brand. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of some trolls. And yeah, Uzul. You're gonna go hang out with him. Now let's see what else we can get. So I can also get the Hounds of the Blood Hunt, which I think would be pretty cool too. So there we go. We got we got a very nice corn army there. I mean, Summoners of Rage could potentially go in like either of these armies. You know. I mean, they do have some bound magic, which is, you know, a bit magic-y, but they're also dragon ogres who are full of rage, and that's all very corn, cool, so, you know. Um, I think we'll keep it as is. I think we'll keep these guys as they are. But I do want some replenishment, so I think they're going to sit tight for a second. Uh, oh, hi. Hello. We have some, um, we have some Chaos Dwarfs here to trade. Which is fun. That's quite cute. Thanks, lads. Uh, what's next? Alright, you've already moved. You two I'm keeping where you are. And then Elgi Munch is going to sit tight for a second. Looks like the Sisters of Twilight are leaving. How could I? But, again, we have crap units here. So, I don't know. Don't know what the plan is. We need better units. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We might just sit tight for a while while we wait for this to clear up. Um, Oleg would take ages to get up there, though, which is annoying. I think we're going to attack that. All right, uh, vassalize the Bjornling. And then just wipe these guys out, probably. And they'll steal their ships. You know, because we said we're doing this for, the, for their ships. You know, allying with them. We actually just did it for the money. But, you know, it makes sense. You need their ships to go invade the old world. 
But anyway, that will have to wait until next episode. Guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and me!